We're going to chat them up. Um, might as well do these at the same time. Party time main test, so that's plus five to charisma. We should have a not great but okay speech kill now. 44 parter. 40 speech. Yeah. Okay, but not really good at convincing. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always get this dramatic. Drama? There is no drama in science. As I learned in high school, science is an intellectual pursuit devoid of bestial emotions. Unless, of course, you are a communist. Like Betsy Bright, who sat next to me in math, and her smoking confederate Richie Marcus. As I learned in my high school, American High, AHS, drama is for movies, things of fiction. Here in the think tank, the only star is science. Mm. Okay, who are you? Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers. They are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. You're responsible for Cazadors. Indeed. Docile. Curious. Safe. Sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. I don't think they're sterile. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. What makes you think they haven't escaped? Because big mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. Okay. Contained at big mountain, these things are all over the Mojave. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. Submit your questions. I shall respond with deadly answers. Okay. Tell me about this radar fence around the crater. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside, like us, and anything without a brain, also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. Yeah, the fence doesn't make any kind of sense as a defensive measure. Seems like a containing measure. Uh, are you trapped here? Yes, they are. Uh, I'm not sure I should be asking them. 
probably they're trapped here probably why don't they realize it the fence doesn't make much sense to me it makes perfect sense who are you to question the mighty radar fence Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend, like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. Don't you... Yeah, don't you want to leave here? No! Beyond is death. Despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Uh, evidence to the contrary? Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data! You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. So this clearly something wrong. Can you tell me about the big, uh, in, in, uh, big mountain? It is our home, threatened by the horrors of Mobius. All we wish to do is continue our research. Layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the crater, until we have our answers. But no, Mobius will not let us rest, scaring us with his scary robots, with their laser tails, and blowing up all the time. This crater looks like it's been tagged in by giant fuckbots. Yeah. Mm, why have you leveled the place? It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries of our test cities. Then we lost the mountain. After the explosion, we couldn't find it anymore. So the crater became our testing grounds for science. Test cities. Yes. In the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. vault -Tech was much better at it, of course. We had to make do. Get permission. Sometimes. If only we could have used commie cities. But capturing whole cities was hard, so we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. So we had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny, isolated towns. Then, we observed. Okay, what was the big explosion that leveled the big mountain? Boom! Yes, quite unexpected and embarrassing. All better now after the landscaping, though. Much more pleasing to our monitors. And the crater helps keep everything inside, because it is bowl-shaped. Submit your questions. I shall... Re Why does Klein want these particular technologies? Their 
there is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the forbidden zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and in the right hands, our hands, if we had hands, we would be nigh unstoppable. Okay, tell me more about Mobius and the Forbidden Zone. The malignant tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater a big mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped, or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. Hey, is this Gabe's pal, your dog from X8? What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans. Before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even... even while I... I... You know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite... pin it down. Oh, no... Maybe I'll try here. I mean, maybe some memory or something. Oh well, it is of no consequence. Gabe gave himself for science, as we all have. Hmm. So I failed. Okay, I encountered your bait and I had to kill it. Uh, I didn't kill it though, so... Until next time then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. I could have used a dress and passed that dialogue check. Uh, he... He can't speak. Can you speak? Do you understand me? Yeah, I'm bypassing those, there's no point listening to them. Your voice module got damaged, I heard, in an attack. Hmm. Is that a yes or no or a yes no? Hmm. Can I ask some questions? Can you tell me about. Uh, tell me, can you tell me about the attack? No. I didn't catch that, maybe part of the damage? Okay, who are you? Sounds important, I think. So... I'm not sure we can get out of, a lot out of him yet. Do you know anything about Mobius or the Forbidden Zone? Alright, alright, calm down. Didn't mean to alarm you. Okay, what can you tell me about the technologies? I swear your brain tank thing just sparked. Ooh, wait. The listening a bit. That's Robco Terminlink protocol you're broadcasting. Hmm, well, I've hacked enough Robco terminals to know. Hmm. Okay, if someone would take the time, you're more than just the sound effects in a tank. Okay, if that's Rothko Trembling Protocol, doesn't that mean it can be hacked? Mm. 
It will only take a second to violate your rights and make your voice mine. Okay, alright, let's... Let's see what you have. I'll take these energy cells. And some motion fusion cells. Uh, now, unlock your room, I want to see uh, and lastly, if I ever need you to blindly agree with me, you will understood. Uh, I know it won't work on attack protocols, still I may need someone on my side in a debate. You don't really have a choice, and thanks for the gear. Yeah. Okay. Okay, eh, sun ejaculating into the sonic meter. Uh, I usually just take a fusion cell and oscillate, oscillate its charge vibrate for like an hour. Okay. Mm. Now that we know each other better, can you tell me about the sonic emitter? Well, projectile is kind of evident, emitter works better. Okay. No, I've been there. Hicks Village, right? Your house is in there? So, there's an emitter code in your house on Hicks. Oh, two codes, one for the jukebox and one for the opera, nice. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, I may have already picked up though. I grab almost anything that's not nailed down. Okay, I got the emitter fully upgraded. Yeah, I'm happy too. Can't let this thing gather dust. Oh, okay, this is my feelings. It's a little slow to fire, but the force field disabling frequency is handy. Mm, are you okay? You look really happy. Yeah, you should be proud. It's a nice device. Okay, it's feeding us energy cells. Okay, thanks. Don't want it to run out. All right. And we can't move it. We, if we talk to some some of these guys, we might have to talk to others because it opens up new dialogue. Mm. Move, you're the creepy lady, aren't you? And you return as curious as a teddy bear. Are you stuck? Hmm. Looping gesture of greeting. Looping, yes. It is a scientific fact that hormones drive a percentage of lobotomites into recursive behavior patterns. We haven't researched this, as my colleagues care little about the behavior patterns of lobotomites once their brains are removed. It is why so many are littered around the facility, like skin envelopes, discarded after they are peeled open and the contents extracted. What recursive behavior patterns are you talking about? It varies according to the number and density of lobotomites that have infected an area. In 43% of observed cases, two lobotomites left alone will fight for dominance or inject bodily fluids into each other's orifices. Unsanitary. I have tried to observe more cases, but subjects seem unwilling to release bodily fluids in my presence. Yeah, we've spoken enough. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. You haven't talked to you. 
Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. Hmm. What do you mean, impossible? Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? I do! And... Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors! Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? Uh... Some problem with Rob Co? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here! What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are! Oh, we can make Securitrons better than any robot those geniuses of Big Mountain can make in the last a thousand years. Uh, you're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on his stupid metal guts. Ugh, damn Robco. Mm. I don't think I'll worry about you by telling me what House and his robots have been up to since. Worry about House? Why would I do this? Hope he died alone in a dingy room, streaming his last remaining bodily fluids into jars. And him and his dirty girl bots. Don't even get me started on those filthy biological catcher's mitts. Okay, calm down. I have some questions. Fine. Ask. I heard you and Eight were attacked by previous visitors. I don't like to talk about it. Eight, he can't talk about it. They fried his voice module. Something good. It wasn't all the visitors, though. Only one of them got out of control. He's the one that took control of Little Yangtze, our old human farm. Tell me what happened. This human. I can't believe it. He broke out of the think tank in seconds. Then he went for Yangtze, got bomb collars, and started practicing on the subjects that were still there until he got the right frequency. We were sending robots to stop him, and he was slicing and cutting through their shells with some souped-up laser gun like they were cheese... paper. When he hacked into the mainframe, A tried to stop him and got fried. Me? He rerouted my processors to take control of the train network here. If you see the tunnels with the trains plowed into them, you can thank our visitor for that. He wrecked the whole place. While we were trying to keep containment on the surface, turns out he used one train to punch out a tunnel and escape. It's sealed now, but... Okay, who were the others? Two other human specimens. One arrived not long after the Troublemaker, and the last one... Not sure when he showed up. Thought the first one was going to be lobotomized in Y-17. She got out somehow. The last subject? Klein might know more. He talked to him. And let him leave the think tank. Hope he knew what he was doing. So the lob lobotomized one was Christine. Made money. The first visitor has to be Father Elijah. Third one, I don't know. Klein knows things we don't. And I think he told some of those things to the last visitor. Dangerous things that they ever got out. Can you give me those more worthless caps? I'd have a few left. Let me check. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Can you tell me about the facility? Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. Now it's a crater. The dome used to be buried. Now it's exposed to the sky. Don't get me wrong. Makes the sky light up like a planetarium at night. All those spectra. So soothing. Mobius and the monsters? That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. Supposedly, he has even larger models, even a giant robot scorpion, hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, right. Giant monsters, sure. A giant robot scorpion. 
Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? What do you do here? All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. Deconstructed it down to parts. I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Yeah, that doesn't sound impressive, uh, breaking machine studies. Who asked you? You just wait until a working machine threatens you, and you'll wish I was around. Okay, do you have another name? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default, because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Talking about things bothering you, well, it might help or something. And it might help if you left me alone. Why are you even talking to me? If I need any bonding, I'll go find two ionized molecules to smash. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Mm, quick peek to see how it affects the quest. See if you can resolve O's problem with his name. I talked to him. Ah, predictable. The lobotomites. Uh, yeah. We would need. Yeah, we can pass that. Let's do this. Yeah, that just looks a bit wrong. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm a good listener. Got the ears for it. Great! Psychology! Clearly the worst of the sciences, right after Colosto Diuretics. Okay, so my name is an O. Never was. It was circular, a single character, digit, but not O. But even with enhanced sensors, no one here could get it right. Always kept seeing the letter, not the number. Ah, they kept confusing the letter with the number. Your name is Dr. Zero. Yes, thank you. Zero. I am zero. How hard is that? A narrow, thin zero. No, I don't know. <laughs> That's not much of a improvement. Okay. So you do you want me to go zero or Zero's my name. I'm proud of it, all right? It doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Truth be told, my emotional attachment to it doesn't even register compared to just having people recognize the difference. It's just that they're both sort of round and hollow, so when they monitor scan them, they assume that, oh, it's O. Oh, vivisect me, please. Hey, if you wanted to differentiate O and Zero, just put a slash through the zero. What? Zero. Draw a slash through it. The sender trembling code to distinguish the two. Did... Did I shoot myself with a brainial beam or something? That's brilliant! I mean, I would have come to the same conclusion. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, oh, who am I deceiving? I never would have figured that out. I can't figure anything out. I'm... Uh, I'm useless. I have no idea how you incompetent survived this long. Uh, no. That's what makes you truly a zero. Exactly. At least the old name was indisputable. O oh, is more like surprise. Oh, look what I stepped in. Hmm. Well, there's power in zero. It reduces anything multiplied against it to zero. Well, of course it does. That's the most lethal of mathematics. That's pretty cool, actually. Destroyer of numbers. 
I already wreck every robot I study. Why not basic arithmetic? I like your solution. With that kind of slash in the middle, I can set myself apart. If I wanted to. The make a zero in all the think tank. They won't be able to escape it. That diagonal slash right down the middle. Thanks. Talking to you, it really helped unclog some frustration. Talking. What a primitive form of thought kicking. Hmm. So, Zero has any amazing discoveries to share? You know, hearing my name said like that, it really derezzes my screens. As for discoveries, well, of course! Look at this! Just, uh, built it! Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> to scrap electronics at it, and to scrap metal. Yeah. Uh, it certainly is interesting, whatever it once was. You know what? I'm not even gonna pretend. I broke one of the monitors, and those innards start falling out everywhere. If you could just hold on to that for me until, well, forever, that would be welcome. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Uh, move. And you return as curious as... Uh. How random questions, nothing new. Uh, need to hit this. I need to buff myself a bit. Maybe with ramen steak. We need to re-discuss things with these now that we have better stats. Calm down. I need to... I wanted to ask you some questions. Definitely not. So, you put down Gabe. Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One less test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyber engineering. Mm. Until I will talk to Dr. Klein too. This is the main thing anyway. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. Yeah. I'd be honored to no, let's do the speech thing first. You all seem knowledgeable in your fields. No doubt there's much you can share with me. Why, yes. We are filled with the knowledge you speak of. If you wish to know more, simply ask the others. They can help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard one of the previous visitors to the dome spoke to you, asked you some questions. Hmm? Oh, yes, the last visitor. Well, the one just before you. An interesting name from some language that's almost impossible to speak. What did we speak about? Melancholy fellow, had questions about uh, history, but... Our conversation got interrupted, twice, I believe. Once when the trains got derailed, and then a second time. Oddly enough, now that I'm accessing my databanks, I don't recall what the second time was. Mobius's incessant transmissions keep distracting me. Also, we didn't brain scrub the visitor. He may have left with some knowledge he shouldn't have. I believe, maybe. Oh well, I'm sure it's of no consequence. I don't make many mistakes in calculation or perception, so probability favors me. You seem like the one in charge, and you are... I am Dr. Klein, Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field, first chair as it were, back in the days of chairs. What is this place? This is the think tank. The nerve center of Big Mountain, the greatest research center known to man, and to us. 
Here we test and test and test some more in the name of science, atomic power, nuclear power, and scientific power. Mm, I've heard this place called the Big Empty. Yes, because the intellectually challenged see an M and a T next to each other and take Occam's razor to it. While you are here, you will refer to this place properly, and you will do the same with the other scientists here. Why do we have this strange passive sensation where we know about the field, but we gain more information about it? We know about the pylons. What about the forbidden zone? That glowing red scar? That laser lobotomy canyon maze carved in the landscape as if by some child? It is Mobius's fortress. From that hemorrhoidal fissure, he sends his amazing robo-scorpions to terrify and irritate us. <laughs> he always tended to the dramatic. Who is Dr. Mobius? Dr. Mobius was... Not the horrifying creature you saw upon the screen, twisted by science. He was once one of us. A friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence-consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. Okay, Robo Scorpions train intelligence from living creatures. How? With chemicals? I'm not certain. Perhaps it only affects machines. If so, you may be immune. If it is chems, then we have nothing to fear. Since we are afraid, it must not be chems, and you need not fear, which means you can test it. Logical. Okay, I'll ask about the things we already know about. Passive sensation. It's a side effect of the cerebral scrubbing. It won't stop you from excreting, or asking questions, apparently. I have to correct that next time. Hormonal aggressive tendencies are actively suppressed, however. They are a no-no and not permitted in the think tank. The scrubbing also ensures your silence to keep Big Mountain safe. This facility is top secret, and you cannot speak of it to anyone outside of Big Mountain. Should have done it with the last batch, and the anti-aggression scrub. Why the anti-aggression programming? We had to take precautions after the last visitors. They caused a great deal of damage in a short time. Should have made sure they couldn't mention Big Mountain once they left. An oversight. Who were they? Dr. Eight and Dr. O could tell you more. Dr. O more than Eight. The battle against the visitors damaged Eight's voice module. Suffice to say, those visitors are unwelcome. They stole a great many secrets and much technology. Impertinent. They also broke one of my trains. Okay. Pylons. Ask Boros. I believe he knows more about the fence than any brain. Except maybe Mobius. Mobius was involved in their construction, if I recall. But he's such a hack, he probably was reading off Boros's notes and schematics. Hmm. Okay, what about this brain extraction? Well, we didn't actually do it. We tried to clean up after, as always, but usually the autodoc runs on remote. But we programmed it, or Mobius did. Still, this new wrinkle with the Tesla coils in your skull was unexpected. I mean, we predicted we'd have a breakthrough eventually, but... Dala knows more. She supervised your spine peel and the heart circumcision, then dumped them both into the tanks in the sink above. Quite sanitary. Sure took her time. She always takes longer than projected with lobotomite surgeries. Not sure why. 
Okay, Mobius might have my brain. Yes, in all probable likelihoods, yes. Possibly. That it may have gone to Mobius is merely an inkling. I don't know why, but it may be something involving the surgery code. Actually, I don't know. All I know is it misplaced itself, or it floated off. They get into robots sometimes and go on a tear. So Mobius set up the Autodark medical ro routines, so you think he's responsible for the post-organ dump. Yes, always leaves back doors into things, have to keep finding them and closing them. The auto dock is now erased of his routines. It was thorough. Only Mobius would know for sure what happened with the procedure. Perhaps. Well, and your brain, of course. It would know as well. My... what do you mean? It can communicate the procedure when we examine it. It is conceivable to trace its surgical scalpel prints once we have the brain. Might take some time, but your brain has no pain nerve to scream at us while we dissect it. Convenient. I detest screaming in my lab. What's this orthodox surgery code you mentioned? Mobius's legacy code was in the old auto dock. Yes, it fried itself after your procedure so he couldn't tell for sure. It is unfortunate. We would have benefited from knowing how the breakthrough occurred. Even if we installed another chip, the information is lost. Why would Mobius want my brain? Why does he seek our destruction? Why did he build robot scorpions with intelligence training stingers? It is because he hasn't cleaned his biogel in a long time. Clearly he's got some sort of psychological corrosion. He's mad. These mechanical robots... Scorpions consume intelligence. Are you certain of your findings? Dr. O is certain of his findings. And no one else in the think tank is willing to test the results. Loss of brainial power. Terrifying. O has said on many occasions his inability to comprehend Mobius' robo-schematics is because of repeated robo-scorpion stings. Okay. I've recovered all of the technological information you requested. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Okay, so genius, what now? Yes, hmm, ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, um, hmm. Yes, Yes, No, I mean yes! You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment, they are extremely advanced, you know? I'm going to advance my boot into your voice manually if you don't give me a solid data. I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Okay. Maybe the frequency in the sonic emitter is sonic is a sonic key of some sort, like an electronic lockpick. Its range is limited, and it would need a booster of some sort, a carrier. But let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and no pointers. Very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency, and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock, yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. 
Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his. Hmm. Uh, don't those items seem more biologically focused than that, though? Biological? <laughs> Ridiculous. I mean, technically, these items could all be used to put you back together once you had your brain. But for now, they can be used in the name of aggression. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science! Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror! Um, you can go now. That's your cue. Yep. You better go. We talked to these guys enough, and we probably should change our appearance a bit. Mira is gonna be mad at me if I destroy her, destroy her outfit. As long as I sink, I think we have too much stuff. We got quite a lot of uh, energy cells, microfusion cells, that kind of crap. So we need to dump them here. Ammo. Four hundred eighty six energy cells. Yeah, let's try this. Ah, that's fair. Ooh, K nine thousand weapon mod, wrestler coil, vendor injury. Might I be of service? I want that. What is it? Increase weapon damage. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. Uh, okay. Need magnum hollow points. Single, single shot. That's that's gonna be a huge difference maker. It's not for this one, is it? No shit. How much of a difference does it make though? Shit, we don't have anything. Ah, that's bad. Might I be of service? And we probably can't buy. Yeah. Hopefully, we will find another one. It could be that the upgraded version has all the upgrades in it, although it might be that it has none of them. Ah, uh, anyway, we're done here. What do we need to do? Travel to the Forbidden Zone. Uh, I'm not doing that yet. I'll we'll go after Muggy and other sites we can enter on the way there. If you just do the main main storyline, hope it didn't zone. Yeah. It's you alarm most of the sites are basically unexplored at the point. So you can come in, do the main storyline and get out. You can return here anytime you want after that. But this is a good DLC to sort of start much earlier on because you can 
get through the main thing and then come back here when you want. Looking at this, there's uh, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. At least a dozen proper sites we haven't even found yet. So I, I'm, I'm not ready to go to the forbidden zone yet. We'll go after Muggy, probably travel to the big mountain and visit any additional sites we encounter on the way there. <laughs>